All right, so we're at Linksys, and uh, you are showing a new NAS product. Oh. What is the name of this one? So the NAS 200 is a network attached storage device. Yes. This will allow you to store your media files such as movies, photography yeah. and music on your network and share it independently without having to, need, having to run a PC on right. the, on the uh, net. What it will do for you, it has two drive bays. Yeah. So you can see here on the back, you have two drive bays here. We sell them unpopulated, so you will just attach uh, two drives of your, of your SATA. own. SATA? Serial yeah. NTA 300 device, correct? And you can set them up in a RAID 1 or a RAID 0 configuration, yeah. so you will have a, a backup solution going as well. You you can, or you don't have yeah, to? You can. You, you can, can choose. You, have you can two, choose. You have two options yeah. there. You can also attach USB storage. Yeah. So you can you can actually have up to four drives going. Yeah. And they're controlled over the same interface. But does it does it mean that uh, the drive inside uses less power because it goes in sleep mode, while the USB drive cannot go in sleep mode? Or yeah, correct. Yeah, that's one of the key benefits of running a NAS yeah. rather than a uh, a PC running with the same storage. It will it will have low power consumption for you. Yeah. And when you're not accessing files, then it goes in total sleep mode, which is no, much it lower. Just go down into idle mode. Yeah. But it will power down a lot. But you know, if there's any USB drive that can go and power down also, or uh, that's depending on the outside, I yeah. I don't sell right. I don't, I don't or you don't sell that, so. yeah. Okay. Then also, in order to be able to share the units, we have a media server yeah. functionality to this, which means that you don't really have to have any additional uh, router with an inter integrated yeah. media server. Uh, you just hook it up to your normal router, and you will be able to share and access the yeah. units on your network. Static or uh, dynamic IP is fine. Both. Yeah. And uh, can you host a HTTP, FTP server on it? Yes, you yeah. can. You also have the opportunity and the possibility to set up user accounts. You can ask, access it uh, from outside, from the internet. Yeah. Uh, so you will actually be able to access all the media files when you're on the go. So you also have the this one? Yeah. Correct. Right, and this is a, a draft and wireless router, yeah. uh, which is equipped with a gigabit port to allow for faster media sharing. And we also added a USB link, so you can actually hook up a USB hard drive or a flash drive yeah. uh, and very easily share media over your network. The router comes with an integrated media server, so you don't really have to have any additional features on a hard drive rather than just plug it in and you can share the content all over your network. And the, the ways you can share the content is the same as this one. Is it? Every, all the features are there, apart from the RAID and... Well, the, the, RAID unit, the RAID levels etc. will be dependent on the storage units that we're yeah. hooking it up to. But what it will allow for is the media sharing ports. You don't yeah. have to have any additional features on your storage right. devices. And uh, previously, Linksys had this um, NSLU, or what's it called, uh, USB? Yeah, so yeah. Network yeah. storage link. We still have that in, yeah. in the portfolio. So this is essentially a wireless end router with the NSLU2 integrated onto it. Ah, is the NSLU2 software oh, on it's, a, it's the same principle. It's the same principle also here? This is, this is a different... Uh, well, you can't yeah. call it a simple principle because it's, still, it, it's a way to get your storage onto yeah. the network. These, right. uh, these are utilizing different technologies. Right. But do you have any idea if their software will be like... Uh, there will be a community on the internet like there was with the NSLU? Maybe, maybe not. There's no uh, information yet? Yeah? How about how much does it cost? This will be 179 euros. 179? And the, the new router will be 199 euros. All right. And how much do they uh, when? When are they available? The routers will start to ship at the end of this month. The NAS unit will ship at the end of October. End of October. Yeah. All right. And over there, you still have the Kiss uh, 1600. Correct. So this is the the media adapter yeah. device that you hook up to your uh, media sharing router or your NAS unit. Yeah. That will allow you to stream, take all your your media content and stream yeah. it up on your on your television. Set. And uh, that's great for local content. The you have on your local network. Correct. For now, there's no outside content, is there? Not at the moment, no. Not in addition to what we have on the on the uh, KISS portal. Which is just uh, like the weather and the yeah, web, web radio. Weather, news, so we have uh, Danish news sites, yeah. uh, you have some games, etc. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So the next KISS, next time maybe. Yeah. All right. And uh, thanks. Thank thanks. you.